All right, this is Math uh, 102, and I'm going to finish 14.4 notes on um, operations with rational expressions. So we did the first two at the top in class, so I'm going to start with these next ones. So remember, our goal is to find our LCD. And since this case, we have two completely different denominators, my LCD is going to be the combination of them both. And so what I'm going to be doing is multiplying um, each fraction by the part that is missing to create that lowest common denominator. So the first fraction is missing the 3y. So I'm going to multiply by 3y over 3y. The second fraction is missing the y plus 5. So I'm always multiplying by a factor of 1. And so now I'm going to distribute if I have to, or just simply multiply. So 3y times 1 gives me 3y. 2 times y is 2y. And 2 times 5 is 10. And that can all be put over my common denominator of 3y times the group y plus 5. And I don't have to multiply that out. So now... I'm going to collect my like terms, which means I'm going to add 3y plus 2y, which makes 5y plus 10. And then I have 3y times y plus 5. Now, sometimes I always like to step back and try to factor each part just to make sure that I can't simplify. So I can factor out a 5, and that leaves me with y plus 2 in the numerator. And then I still have my 3y times y plus 5. And at this point, I can see that nothing is going to eliminate. So I can either put my answer in the first form, 5y plus 10, over the 3y times y plus 5, or I could go ahead and factor it out and leave that 5 out. But that is my final answer. Okay, now the next one you only have to, you have to be careful because it's got a minus in front of that second fraction, so you have to make sure that you distribute. And in this case, my LCD is going to be the combination of x minus 10, x minus 3. Okay, and I'm not going to foil that out, I'm just going to leave it. So in the first fraction, I am missing an x minus 3. So I'm going to multiply by a factor of 1. And in the second fraction, I am missing the x minus 10. So I'm going to multiply by my factor of 1. So now I do have to distribute. So I get 9x times x is 9x squared minus 9x times 3 is 27x. Now be very careful because you are distributing a negative x, so that makes it negative x squared, and then that makes it positive 10x, and that's all over x minus 3 times x minus 10. And it doesn't matter the order that you write that denominator. So then we're going to collect my like terms. So 9x squared minus 8x squared. Um, excuse me, 9x squared minus 1x squared makes 8x squared. And then negative 27x and positive 10x makes negative 17x. And that's all over x minus 3, x minus 10. Now, if I wanted to in the numerator, I could factor out an x, but that's not going to eliminate anything. So I'm just going to leave it like that, okay? So always looking for um, your common denominator. When there are two different denominators, you're going to have to put those two together. In the next one, you want to make sure all your denominators are factored if necessary. So this is a difference of two squares. And so I'm going to cross that off. And that tells me that my LCD is going to be x minus y, x plus y. And so the, the second fraction already has exactly what I need. But the first fraction is missing that x minus y factor. So I take 1 times x and 1 times negative y. Be careful, you are subtracting a y there. 
And then you're going to write x plus y, x minus y in the denominator. Collect your like terms, and in this case, my like terms are negative y minus y. So that makes x minus 2y, and that's all over x plus y, x minus y. And that's it. That's all I can do. Now, the next problem when you're looking at this, you want to make sure that the negative sign is going to go up with the 7. You also want to make sure that this is factored. And so it is going to be y um, minus 1 and y minus 3. That's going to be the factorization. Nope, not 3, excuse me. y minus 2. Sorry y minus 2. And then that makes negative 3 in the middle, and that makes positive 2 on the end. So it looks like we need 1 y minus 1, and we need 1 y minus 2. So that's my LCD, y minus 1, y minus 2. The first, the first fraction has everything we need, but the second fraction is missing the y minus 2. So we're going to have negative 7. Be careful because this is a negative 2. So that makes it negative 2y. And that makes it positive 4. All over y minus 1, y minus 2. And then the last thing I'm going to do is just collect. Whoops, sorry. Last thing I'm going to do is just collect my like terms, negative 7 and positive 4. So that makes negative 3 minus 2y all over y minus 1, y minus 2. And again, it, you can have negative 2y minus 3. You can have negative 3 minus 2y. Just as long as both of those terms are negative and um, and that's as simple as it gets. And I would just leave the denominator in factored form, okay? So... The next thing that we're going to do is both of these denominators need to be factored so that we can find our LCD. So in this one, I'm looking for factors of positive 20 that make 12. That's going to be 10 and 2. And in this one, I'm looking for um, negative factors of 20 that make 8. So that's going to be positive 10 and negative 2. So I'm going to highlight we need 1x plus 10, we need 1x plus 2, and we need 1x minus 2. So my LCD is in any order x plus 10, x plus 2, x minus 2. So now I'm going to multiply by what's missing. The first one is missing the x minus 2. And the second one is missing the x plus 2. So now here we've got binomials um, times binomials, so we're going to have to FOIL. So x times x is x squared. The outer gives me 4x. The inner gives me negative 2x. And the last gives me negative 8. I do the same thing for the next one x times x is x squared, the outer is 2x, the inner is 1x, and the last is 2. And that's all over x plus 10, x plus 2, x minus 2. So now I collect my like terms. So I have x, 1x squared plus 1x squared. That makes 2x squared. I have 4x minus 2x plus 2x plus 1x. So that's 4x minus 2x is 2x plus 2x is 4x plus 1x makes, whoops, makes 5x. And then I'm going to collect my numbers, negative 8 and positive 2. 
which makes negative 6. And that's all over. x plus 10, x plus 2, x minus 2. And then I can look, do, can I factor that top? 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. There are not factors that make negative 12 that also add up to 5. So that is my final answer. Um, now in the last one that we're going to do, um, I just want to rewrite this one out as x plus 5, x plus 5. And so I'm going to need both of these x plus 5s, because that appears the highest number of times, and an x plus 1. So I always like to write my LCD up at the top of what I'm trying to get. I need an x plus 1, and I need two x plus 5s. So in the first fraction, I'm missing another x plus 5. And so the second fraction, I am missing the x plus 1. And so now I'm going to distribute 5 times x is 5x. 5 times 5 is 25. Be very careful here. It is a negative. So negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. And that's all over x plus 1, x plus 5, x plus 5. And of course, you can write your shorthand if you wanted to write x plus 5 squared. So now collect your like terms. 5x's minus 2x's make 3x's. And then we have 25 minus 2 makes 23. And that's all over x plus 1. And I am going to go ahead and shorthand that. And that's my final answer.